I did an internship in college. I was a humane officer. It was a really small organization, but I loved it. I mean, it was hands-on. I loved animals. Graduated early, so I was like, all right, start looking for a job. I think I was one of the luckiest people. College graduate job right away. It's a good fit, though. I mean, we got a lot of diversity with all the agents. You know, me being an Asian female, it, it actually does help a lot. It's a very threatening thing when you see someone come to your door in uniform. A lot of times people see females as less threatening. It might just be a physical thing. If it's a tall male looking down at a female, you know, all of a sudden she's threatened. SPCA, we need to talk to you. Do you have a dog? Yes. Can we see it? So if we can speak with them eye to eye and work it out, then it won't escalate as much. So it's really, it is, it's really helpful, especially in Philly. There's a lot more going on in people's lives and animals is just a small part of it. So most of the time we just try to help him out, see what we can do. Okay. We received a complaint that he was in bad condition. Was he outside this morning? No, animal control came yesterday and she was in the yard because she wasn't housebroken. How old is she? I have no idea. The owner's at work. Is there a dog in the yard now? No. no, this is the dog. That's the dog? Yeah. She's been in here since last night. Definitely, it can be a scary job. We go into alleyways all the time. You don't know what's going to come out. A person or an animal can come after you. You always have to be aware of your surroundings constantly. Even if you think it's something small, you've got to be alert because you never, you never know. The hardest part of this job would be dealing with people. You know, we're here to educate. People may be ignorant to the fact of how to raise an animal or take care of one, but when you have people that just outright don't care and you say, you know, you need to feed your dog, something so simple, and they go, yeah, I know, but I don't care. I mean, that's just, you know, you, you don't, you can't comprehend that type of reaction. You've got a skinny, dying dog in the backyard and they just don't care. They leave it there to die. That's got to be the worst because they're the ones who make the animal the way they are. We can take it and do everything we can to save it and bring it back, but the main thing is it shouldn't have gotten to that point at all. This is a tough job, so if you go out and you see something and it's taking a toll on your mind, I mean, just talking to people about anything else other than what we do for a living, it can really help to deal with the situations that we see. I mean, we see terrible things every day. How's it going out there in the woods area? <laughs> It's all right, not like Philly. And sometimes when you're alone and, you know, I go out on a call that's two hours away from where I live, that's two hours of driving where that's what I'm thinking about constantly. So having someone to talk to or whatever can, you know, ease your frustration or anything else that you're feeling after what you just did.